Hey, it's Richard Silver, and I am here again with my buddy from many, many years, uh, Friley Saucier. And Friley is in Naples, Florida, and works with Sotheby's International Realty in uh, Naples, Florida. So, hello, Friley. How, how are you managing? Hi, Richard. Thank you for having <laughs> me today. It's so nice to see you, as always. Pleasure, pleasure. So, you just, you're just starting your... Uh, your stay at home now, is that? We are, so our governor just yesterday on April 1st, and this is not an April school, it's the no. real deal. He's, he's ordered a stay effective midnight tonight, which, um, you know, I won't get into politics, but uh, probably a, a, a tad overdue for, for that to happen. Yeah, a little a little bit late to the table, I'm afraid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. yeah we're into, we're, we're past our second week here at home, I think. Well, well past our second week at home. Yeah. Well, uh, I started, I started um, sort of my own stay probably five, six weeks ago. And, yeah. you know, as soon as it hit the U.S., I, I sort of went into a little bit of, ooh, let me, let me really step back and only do things that are necessary. Um, so I feel like I got a little head start on people. You know, of course I'm going out for the essentials um, yeah. like, like most people are. But, yeah. um, and I know uh, you have some extra concern because I know that your mom's in a nursing home. Well, she's not in a nursing home. Oh, not in a nursing home. No, she's at home. 90, she'll be 93 this year. She still lives at home. She's got the mind of a 40 year old. Good for her. I mean, she's she's just doing great. So we've got her all set up in North Carolina. My sister's up there with her. So oh, okay. Okay. All that. I appreciate you asking about my mom. Yeah. So she she does have you know she's doing all the protocols and oh, everything absolutely. to stay healthy. Absolutely. Yeah. That's that's important. And everybody everybody has to be responsible to make sure that they're doing it. It's, you know. Indeed. You know, these uh, kids who want to be out with their girlfriends and go to a party with their boyfriends or whatever, it's just, yeah. it, it can't happen. Yeah, it, it's it's a little much. And, you know, we had um, here in Florida, of course, you know, our, the resort areas in Florida, like Naples, Sarasota, yes. you know, some of Miami, uh, there's some other resort destinations as well, but we're probably the top ones, Yeah. Um, especially for spring break. And we... Of course, early March, it was spring break, and we had so many young people here um, that just sort of lived in this bubble of it can't happen to me, and yeah. our beaches were crowded, you know, they were hanging out in the bars, and it just really, really got out of hand. I mean, it was it was just unbelievable what was going on. It, it's, so it's, they finally, it's interesting, because the day the beaches were closed, in Southwest Florida. So here in Naples and the surrounding area. The day that happened um, was not too long after our restaurants were shut down except for delivery and takeout in, Flor in Florida. There was a mass exodus out of Southwest Florida. Right. Our airport the next day was the fifth busiest airport in the United States. Wow. You're talking about Atlanta. You're talking about the big ones in Washington, New York, yeah. LA, Chicago. Everybody's heading home. Yeah, everybody got out of here because I couldn't yeah. go to the beach anymore. In and Canada, in Canada now, we only have four airports that are open. Wow, wow. Yeah, they, the main, you know, Toronto, Montreal, I think, uh, Vancouver, it's... Uh, They've really done, they're, they're doing as much as they can. Uh, the government has really stepped up and they're doing as much as they can to keep the uh, yeah. Canadians safe. It's still, you know, it's still a drop in the bucket really when you're dealing with the plague, but, uh, or Absolutely. a pandemic Absolutely. like this. It, it's getting close to Passover. So I always refer to it as a plague, you know, cause that's, yeah. <laughs> that's what we celebrate at Passover, strangely enough. Yeah. Anyway, well, so. Tell me about how are you transacting business? So uh, we are considered, real estate is considered to be essential. With that said, um, I can tell you my clients, and you know, I, I work the luxury market in Naples. Right. I primarily right. work the, the communities that have waterfront and beachfront in Naples. Um, so I'm going to really speak to that today. Yes. So the beaches are closed. Most of the beach clubs are closed. The hotels on the beach have remained open. Um, so that's a little interesting, um, but they still have people that are trying to get out to the beach. Um, no one has been sighted in Clark County, which is where Naples is located. Right. 
um, even though the, the county put this put this in place before the state did. And uh, so no citations as of yet, but if you were caught violating any of these ordinances, it's a $500 fine and you can spend 60 days in jail. Wow. And they have already started releasing people from jail um, yeah. that were just about to get out to make room for the people that could potentially be going in over this. Yeah. yeah. So kind of, yeah, it's kind of interesting, but you know, our market just, it was just like one day at the blink of an eye, everything came to a screeching halt. Yeah. yeah. And I actually, um, I looked at some numbers for March of last year to March of this year. And just to give you an idea, in the one to two million dollar range, we had yeah. 38 contracts go pending in March of last year. This year there were 21. The two to five million dollar range last year, we had 33, we had 10 this year. Wow. Uh, five to 10 million, we had 11 last year. Four this year, over 10 million, we had two last year, none this year. Yeah. So total 74 transactions, you know, last year in that million dollar plus, and again, just in the, the waterfront communities that have beach access, um, 35 this year. So total is down 53% for the month. Wow. Yeah. I think, I think pretty much real estate across the world is, is going through this. Uh, it, you know, it'll be yeah. interesting to see whether at the end, and hopefully there will be an end to all of this before we know it, or hopefully soon, um, to see if there's going to be pent up demand and all of a sudden the, you yeah. know, the, the floodgates will open and everybody will be jumping on to the, you know, yeah. to the real estate bandwagon. It'll be interesting to see what happens. Yeah. You know, I actually think that um, a lot of business is going to be deferred to a later yes. date. And yeah. I can tell you that before, um, you know, before this really elevated, I was negotiating about $27 million in sales. Every buyer, said we're pulling back we're holding on yeah we're not doing anything yeah those buyers will still come back at a yeah. later date my yeah. guess is the properties they were interested in are still going to be available yes um, because it's just the, the luxury market here has just come to a halt so um so yeah i think the pent-up demand it's just going to be deferred business yeah. so when, when we get to the other side of this we're going to have the business that we would normally have and then all of this business yeah. that's happening right now is going to be on top exactly. of that. So exactly. We're all, so, we're all going to have an unbelievable years. And Real estate is going to skyrocket. <laughs> our, our spring, our spring market will be in fall and the, and everything. Yes. Yeah, exactly. we're 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 dealing with the same thing too. But you know what's really interesting because I've been tracking it too is yes, we you know our showings are way down to almost nil. However. Mm -hmm. Um, I've never seen our internet performance as strong as it is. We're getting so it's many viewings. And wow. so though, so I was gonna, you know, as we know, as you know, I think we, we told you we had our house, we have our house on yeah. the market. And yeah. I was thinking about pulling it off the market. So I've decided not to do that. And we are just going to keep going. And, uh, you know, we're on MLS, we're on realtor.ca, we're, we're viewable, and we're getting lots and lots and lots of showings. So it's, it's interesting yeah, how the market is different. You. Good for you. And, and, you know, I think here every area is just a little different. I mean, here, you know, the people I'm, I'm working with, they just go, you know what, we really don't want anybody in our home. And I thank goodness I had sold all my listings. I've got one, one last listing yeah. that's still to close next week, but I have one left um, that is on the beach. And, you know, they just said, Riley, we really don't want people coming in our home. And no, said, no, 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 for sure. I said, um, guess what? I really don't want to come in your home with people that I don't know. I'm not yeah. comfortable with that either. So yesterday, um, we simply, we extended the listing for a year and we, we, yeah. we withdrew it, you know, yeah. um, because there's, there's no point in having it on the market if we're not going to show it right now. And yeah. we'll reevaluate that in 60 days and see where we are. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that's basically we're tied to doing that. We don't really have that many options. And um, no, we don't. We I, went don't. To, I went to see a house yesterday. Uh, the people are interested in selling it. We are going to uh, do as much as we can virtually as far as the staging is concerned. We're going to work with what they've got. We're going to follow all the protocols. They're not in the house. They're in another part of, uh, of Ontario. And uh, we're going to put it on the market and, uh, you know, do yeah, photos right. and yeah, virtual right. walkthroughs. Yeah. You, know, you and I both know 
many dozens and dozens and dozens of great agents across Canada and the United States. And I've been staying in touch with, you know, with a lot of people like you um, that I affectionately call my blue friends. And, <laughs> you know, so I'm talking to groups of people every yeah. single day. And it's yeah. amazing right now how many people are taking new listings. They are talking to people through FaceTime. Yeah. The owner is, you know, walking through their home. Mm -hmm. The agent's giving them an evaluation. Yeah. Uh, they're sending a photographer out. No yeah. one's there for the photography. And they're getting it on the market. And yeah. they're, they're promoting it and they're getting some traction on it. So I think, I think it just really depends on the, you know, on the market. And yeah. you've got I, to, you have to have a very unique seller and a very unique buyer to do this kind of transaction. Yeah. Well, for, for us, I mean, it's a very small uh, portion of our people that are going to have to sell and mm -hmm. are going to have to move. And they don't really have the option of waiting for the market to turn around or waiting for the market to change. They are, they're in necessity mode for whatever reason. Yeah. Maybe they've bought something and they need to close their transaction or maybe they're yes. aging and they need to move to a retirement home and they need to, they need the money out of their house. So there's always going to be people. I mean, we're, we're one of those things, food, clothing, shelter. We're, we're exactly. a shelter. We're, and, I mean, it's a basic need to have shelter. There's no question yeah. about it. Yeah. And I do, I do think that through this, you know, even with the people that I was negotiating with that just said, yikes, we're going to back off right now. Yeah. You know, I think those people, People could even come back during this pandemic and say, you know what, we feel like maybe the market value has gone down on that property now and yeah. it may make a run at it. They've already yeah. seen it. Sure. Um, you know, the services are available to get inspections done, have yeah. it take place. So I, you know, I, I think those are real possibilities to have. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we had somebody very, very interested in the house. They're concerned about their jobs if they get some sort of security about their jobs, they'll probably want to make an offer, which is fine. And I'll, oh. I'll do, you know, we'll look at it. Let's not sell it. Your house is so beautiful. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. But I can tell you, uh, it's very interesting now. There's three of us who are here in the house and it's, uh, it's a good sized house and there's always things to be done. Thank God, uh, you know, everybody's home now. The services that we used to hire to do them, are not available at the moment, so we're we're doing them. We're doing them. Yeah, yeah. I'd be, you know, I'd be, you know, as I said, this is, you know, this is now my new best friend, Lysol. You, you know, you know, there you go. There um, you go. We should we should have bought shares in Lysol. We should yes. have bought shares in Zoom, and yes. you know. Well, I, anyways, I bought, I bought Zoom last year, and sold it when it peaked. Oh Loaded my God! Again, it peaked again. Sold it again. So Zoom has served me very well, but I've used that platform for many, many years. Yeah, it's a great and, platform. Yeah, and I know now there's some questions about security and so yeah. forth, but I yeah. think we have a lot of people using Zoom that don't know all the ins and outs and how to set a meeting ID and passwords and all those kinds right, of things. Right, right. So I, I think it's. I think some of that is probably operator um, misunderstanding. Yeah, function, <laughs> exactly. We're actually doing our uh, Seder next week. Our Passover Seder is going to be on Zoom. Wonderful. So, yeah, just, it's, it'll... Yeah. yeah, so it'll, I just hosted a surprise birthday party for yeah. someone, and we all, you know, we all got on Zoom ten minutes early before I just said to that person, you know, I just want to see you and talk to you yeah. live, and and scheduled it, and everybody else hopped on early, and we all had a candle lit, saying happy yeah. birthday. It was a lot of fun. I think so. We can do that, and we're, uh, you know, you're going to get an invitation in the next couple of days to a cocktail party. I think on Monday night. Awesome. Uh, held by Sotheby's International Realty Canada. We're inviting all of our U.S. friends and colleagues, and uh, it should be lots of fun. I think we can hold up to about 500 people. I, you know, I think that's a lot of exactly, exactly a lot of people. Yeah, well, that's great. I always love coming to the parties in Canada. You of course, guys are such an awesome group up there, especially in Ontario. Thank you, thank you. So, listen again. It's Frali Saucier. Did I say it right? I hope I did. Yeah, of course you did. Of course. Anyways, and uh, she's in Naples, Florida, and you've heard about the market that she's dealing with and how she's dealing with the coronavirus. And I just want to say thank you very much again. It's always a pleasure to talk oh, to you. I love you. It's always a pleasure to I see love you, you, Richard. We have a greater fun. So big hug. You hugs. know, my friend. <laughs>